Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today I'm going to show you a thrift flip that has no paint whatsoever except for painting on some liquid stain. So this is going to be fun. So this flip is brought to you by the rolling pins uh, are from a church thrift store and the wallpaper border from Expressions here is from a animal shelter thrift store. So I'm excited to do this. I really love this wallpaper border and it's got so many different designs on it. So I'm going to show you three different designs to use from this border alone. And there's probably many more. So the first one I wanted to cut out the flag from this from this border because I just love it. It's long and skinny and I think it would fit on the rolling pin really, really well. So I'm just going to cut it out close and try to get rid of all of the background on this one. And then once it's all cut out, I'm going to take it over to the sink and wet it down. Now I'm going to change it up with the other two. Um, I did not like the, these are pre-pasted and I did not like the paste that was on it. I don't know if it was just cheap or if the, if it was old or what it was, but I did not like how it was. So what I do is I wet it and then I fold the pasted parts onto each other and let them sit for a minute while I sand down this uh, rolling pin. It was not absolutely necessary to do the middle, but it had a little bit of gunk on it and I wanted to kind of scuff it up because I will be staining it once I get my, my design on it. So I'm also going to do the handles and I realized that once the white handles were sanded back, one side was red and the other blue, which is quite uh, fitting for this since this is going to be a patriotic, a rustic Americana piece of decor. So I thought it was kind of cool. So I just sanded it down a little bit to scuff it up. So once I got it on there and flattened out uh, where I wanted it, I took a small brush with some Mod Podge on it and just kind of tucked it in under some of the edges. It didn't quite want to stick on those edges and I just didn't like the paste on these. So the other two that I do, I'm going to be using the Mod Podge on the back and that worked so much better. Now I am going to seal this over with Mod Podge over the top and down over the edges so it will stay on really nicely and it did stick in the middle. It just just wasn't great on the edges. So I just went along and did that uh, all the way around to make sure that it stuck down nicely. So now I'm taking a little bit of my dark stain. I make this with antique wax, a little bit of black paint and some water and it just makes a nice dark stain and it doesn't change it a whole lot but it does bring out the uh, colors in it and it looks nice, I think. And then I go over the top of the um, the piece, the paper, and it does antique it up a little bit. I did the edges, of course, here. I made sure I got down in the, the crevices because when you wipe it back, that's where it will stay. It does darken up the paint on the top, but it's really down in the, the cracks and crevices where you want that to sit that makes it look aged. So I put that on there and then wiped it back. And I love how this came out. I think I wiped it a little bit too much. I probably shouldn't have wiped it so much. But see how it leaves the antique wax down in the, in the crevices. So there we go. I just go over the top of that and it darkens it up a little bit and gives it more of an aged antique look which I really like. Now I did let that sit for a minute and, or more than a minute and dry. I just wanted it all nice and dry. And then I'm going over just the, the artwork in the middle and around the edges of it with some Mod Podge to seal it in. I didn't want it all over the rolling pin. I already have it sealed in with the wax. So I just get it along the edges and over the top just to make sure it's sealed and will stay clean 
when you want to clean it. And then uh, I wipe it back and just get rid of the excess around the edges because it will leave like a little weird look if you don't. So the next thing I decided I wanted to do was to take make a messy bow for my rolling pin. And only one of the rolling pins is going to get this. So I thought I'd make a really cool messy bow for it. Now if you were doing this for yourself, you could make a messy bow for all three. But I only wanted one because I'm going to be styling these together. And I didn't want it just, I didn't want it to be too much. So I just made a nice cool big messy bow for one and that way I think it will be just enough for for all three to decorate them. So I'm just cutting strips off. Um, I cut them and then I rip them because I like to have that ragged edge and I just took pieces of uh, just scrap that I had laying around and just trimmed them off. So this is a piece of drop cloth that I had and I'm just cutting off random pieces and cutting them and ripping them. And uh, I think I have some, I've got some burlap in there and some homespun material. And I tried to keep with the same colors as much as I could. I did add some black homespun material just because I thought that would look really cool for a pop of dark. I don't have anything blue. And I think it really came out good. This is a piece of tea towel that I had. Uh, I, I tea stained it, tea and coffee stained it. And so I just cut a few pieces off that. I'll just use that as um, a piece that I'll, I'll keep around and use pieces off it. But yeah, I just cut them down into strips. It's pretty easy to make these uh, messy bows because they're messy and I'm messy, so it's good. <laughs> so I just randomly take the pieces and lay them down crisscross. I don't have any really rhyme or reason. I just grab whatever and clean them off as much as I can from strings. I do put the, the twine underneath it so that I can tie it off at the end. Um, and I just grab pieces and just randomly put them on there. Sometimes I pick and choose. It depends. If I do a bunch of dark ones, then I pop in some light ones. And I don't know. I just... Um, random with it because if you try to if you try to figure it out it's just it'll take you forever so I think the key to making these messy bows is to get it really really tight in the middle because then it brings it together and I think it looks really cool so I try to get it super tight and then um, I cut a had a piece of material so after I tied the twine on there which I cut and I shouldn't have because I needed twine to tie it to my rolling pin, but I wasn't thinking about that. Uh, anyway, so um, yeah, I just fluffed it out and then I trimmed it down because I really had pieces that were way too long and it was too heavy and it was actually too big for the rolling pin. So I just trim it and I don't trim them all the same. I kind of go, as you can see here, I kind of round it. So the middle part's a little longer and then it's fluffing. You know, it's a lot of fluffing with bows. And then I put it on there and I think this looks super cute. I love the colors and it looks so rustic. So the next one that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do in the same uh, manner except for I'm gonna cut some new pictures. So this one I'm gonna cut the, the border edges uh, with the stars on it and cut those off in the America. We're gonna put America on the rolling pin as well. So I'm just tidying up the edges on these. I don't want sharp corners. I want them to be rounded. So that's all I do with that. And then uh, with the stars, I'm going to put them around the ends on the edges. I think that'll give it a nice edge uh, in something different to look at on that rolling pin. I'm so glad I found these rolling pins. I went around the corner and saw them sitting on the shelf. And when I saw they were a dollar a piece, I about broke my neck trying to get to the shelf to get them in my cart. <laughs> the um, They're just so cool. And I love the white ed ends on them. So I knew that I probably wouldn't paint them at all. I didn't know what I would do in the middle. But I really like how um, how they they're darker stained in the middle. 
And uh, they're just a little, they have some paint and some little flaws on them, but it's not a big deal. So I put these stars on either end and then I'm going to put the America in the middle using my Mod Podge. I didn't even wet the paper and use the pre-pasted uh, paste on there because I just didn't think it was any help. But using the Mod Podge was a lot of help and it worked really, really well. So after I got the America and the stars attached, I decided as I was looking at the uh, scrap pieces of wallpaper that I had cut that there was some really cool designs that I could cut out to put on top of the America picture. So I cut out these little, uh, well actually they're, they're quite big stars, different colors, the uh, burgundy, light blue, and kind of an off-white color, and I put it over the top of the America. I used the Mod Podge on the back and just stuck that down. And once it dried, I took the Mod Podge and went over everything so that all the edges would stay down. And now I'm taking my Dark Stain again and just going over it to darken everything up and make it look uniformed and just aged. So this next one, I uh, cut out the... I guess the the rim of the basket, which is the stars again, and then this big star with the eagle in the middle of it. And I'm just going to cut really close to that and snip off the edges so they're nice and clean. And then this one's gonna go on to the rolling pin, the next rolling pin. I also cut out the freedom. I like this big word to put on the rolling pin and it fit really nicely. I didn't get as close to this word. I just cleaned it up so that it was, um, you know, looked nice. And then I put it down in the middle of my rolling pin. And I also used the Mod Podge on this. And then I just, over the top of it, I took that border and the star and put that over the top. And I think it looks really good. I used the Mod Podge on that. And then I sealed it up with Mod Podge all over so that the edges would stay down. And then I also uh, took my dark stain and went over that and aged it as well. I hope you enjoyed my thrift flip of repurposing these rolling pins and wallpaper border into a rustic Americana a vintage looking piece and that you try it yourself if you can find something. This would work great with napkins, uh, you know, just paper, scrap paper, anything you got laying around, see what you have. And I think this would be really fun to do for any time of the year. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a great day.